Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can package your custom made content and upload it to the Reillusion Marketplace so you can publish it for sale. This tutorial requires that you already have a basic knowledge of the content manager, so if you're not familiar with it yet, please check out the dedicated tutorial on our Reillusion Courses page. Let's start off by exploring how to package content. Here we already have some content saved in the custom default folder. To start packaging it for publishing, you'll want to start by opening up the Packager panel from the Content Manager menu, the Windows menu, or by using the Control F4 hotkey. To start a pack, start by right-clicking in the Packager menu. After, you'll be prompted to give it a name. From there, you can right-click in the Content Manager on any item and add it to the pack you just created. You can also click and drag any item into the pack as well, like I'm doing here with this actor. You can also multi-select items and drag them over as well. For content that's only found in the composer mode, you'll want to first switch to composer mode to access the context-dependent content manager, which will contain that relevant content. Here you'll see some content in the head category that wouldn't be accessible from stage mode, which can be added to the pack in the same way. If you exit back to stage mode, you'll see the head category added to the pack, which isn't normally accessible in stage mode. If you uncheck the show subfolder items checkbox, it will only show you the basic folder structure. Let's create a subfolder here called bread, and when we drag the relevant content items into that folder, they'll no longer show up. You can right click and rename any item in either Packager or Content Manager, and it will automatically update in both. However, if you remove an item from the pack, the source file in the Content Manager will not be deleted. All of the items will be placed into the proper subfolders automatically, but we strongly recommend that you create consistently named subfolders based on your pack name to avoid any naming conflicts when users download into their content manager. Once you're done that, you can go ahead and go to the main pack icon and right click to confirm the pack info. You can then go ahead and add your own attractive thumbnail to the pack, which needs to be a 512 by 650 resolution. From there, make sure you save everything, then you can right click on the pack and select upload. After that, it's onto the marketplace to publish your new pack so other users can purchase it. Once the upload is finished, we need to log into the marketplace management backend, which you can access from your user menu once you've logged in. If you don't see this option, please head over to the content developer page to register for certification. Next, you want to click on Edit Content Pack from the left menu, and you'll see all of the packs you've uploaded. Simply click on the thumbnail to go to the Preview Pack Info page. There is also an Edit Content Detail icon to the right of your pack, where you can continue to edit the product info. The categories here are fairly flexible, but we recommend that you choose the categories which represent the highest number of that type of content in your pack. You can also toggle whether or not you want to make a trial version of your content available for free download here as well. We also recommend that you provide the information near the bottom of the page as well, including a description and tag information which will make your content more easily searched, and additional preview images to make the pack more appealing. You can refer to any number of other product pages for references. As you can see here, you can also use videos along with your preview images for better commercialization. Product description is important to help market your content, and as mentioned earlier, relevant tags will bring up your content more in related searches. For more information and resources, you can download the guiding document and demo project, which can be found in the Commercialize and Product item on the left side menu. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide that will answer any questions you might have about the content publishing process. Okay, the last thing we want to do is verify and finish publishing our pack, so let's head back to the packager, and you'll find the pack that you uploaded in the Verify tab. 
If it's not there yet, just press the refresh button. You can download the pack to see if the publishing was successful. Everything looks good so far, and if you want to modify it in any way, like how I'm adding new items here and changing an item name, all you need to do is right click on the main pack thumbnail after you're done and re-upload. Make sure you choose the correct operation from the drop down menu to the right. Once you've uploaded the updated version, hit refresh in the verify tab once again, and you'll see an update icon appear on your thumbnail. Just double click it again to proceed with the update. An easy way to replace a single item directly from the content manager is to copy the content ID from your Marketplace backend, right click on the replacement item, and select Reupload to Marketplace. From there, simply enter in the copied content ID and bingo bango, your item will be replaced in that pack. That's it for this quick video guide on how to publish your own content packs in the Marketplace for Cartoon Animator 5. We encourage you to get out there and explore your creative side by making your own content to share and sell in our community. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.